Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gigantic Day 3 Recap. My name is Bazile. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologize for this video being out a day late. Had some technical issues, and you know, the internet, it happens. But they started off the stream with the game player that they, game player, game trailer that they showed, and uh, it's also what you're watching here on on stream because there wasn't any cool screenshots that they did. It was just a panel of uh, everyone talking. A lot of questions were answered. So let's kind of dive right into that. Um, they talked about their work and the whole aspect of their community involvement. That was really cool. They did say that Alpha started last week. Uh, they're testing everything, and they want to make sure it's really, really well done. Uh, they showed some uh, heat maps uh, for testing in packs. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what heat maps mean. So if you know what it means, cool. Awesome. Uh, they also talked about some of the class balance in terms of stealth and maybe some, some really fast or speedy characters. They talked about matchmaking. Um, they did confirm that you can play solo in a party of two, three, or four, or five, since the game is five versus five. Uh, they also did ask that uh, suggestions will be considered and they they want suggestions um they also asked everyone to be patient if they're not in the alpha and don't you know don't go crazy don't go begging for it don't spam the emails because then you're you're not going to get alpha so um they're they're looking to reward community members that have helped grow in the community and they're helping grow and they're taking an interest in the game and that kind of stuff so uh basically don't be a begging crazy person and be a friendly community member and you'll get rewarded for that um they did mention something about guilds, which is a team-based team matchmaking system, uh, pretty much like any other ranked team matchmaking system, but they just call it a guild. Uh, there wasn't any limits on the guilds or anything. They didn't really get into too much detail. They also confirmed that there will be ranked matchmaking, which is awesome. Um, one thing that I was a little concerned about, but then I thought about it a little bit more and was like, okay, that makes sense, is the ranked matchmaking will be lo unlocked at a certain level, almost like there is uh, that, that Dota has, which is actually really smart when you think about it. It gives players some time to learn the game and not just go, I'm level one, I'm going to do ranked match, and then you get placed in with, you know, veteran players and you, you look like an asshat. There will be leagues. They didn't go into too much specifics because obviously a lot of these are still kind of on the very back roads because the game's... It's an alpha, and things need to be worked out and tested and blah, blah, blah. So um, they did answer a lot of esports questions, which was really awesome. Um, the way that Ali Murdoch actually described this and the way that they're going to handle it was pretty much the best answer that any company can give was if, it, if it's, if it's going to happen, the community has to make it happen. They're not going to push for it. All they're going to do is just support it, which is what they – really should do because they're you know a small company and they don't need to put all the resources into making a a game and, and force it into the esports scene because that, that never works it just never works anyone who tells you otherwise is just stupid they uh, also did say that they want to allow replays in the future and details about your match and that kind of stuff um they didn't go into too much specific but they uh they did say that they will have all the things a uh, quote unquote and um that is actually kind of funny because it looks like Gigantic will be another MOBA that has a replay system before League of Legends, which is really hilarious if you think about it. They also uh, thanked all the fan sites and uh, thanked the wiki or the wiki, wiki whatever you say that. Uh, they encourage you um, to keep your account um, because uh, – now, no, accounts as in – uh, for the actual game because they don't want to encourage smurfing and they're very very adamant about that so they're they're working on on to put in systems in place for that and if you have suggestions they want you to go 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 and talk to them about it on reddit and on the community forums and that kind of stuff um, they also were very very um, adamant about being involved in the community they want their feedback they want all this discussion they love it um, they um, they also said that there are going to be a lot of really cool stuff in the future. Obviously, they didn't really go into much details, but um, they thanked everybody. They thanked a lot of the community members. Um, some of the specifics I heard was GG Unleashed, which is uh, one of the community fan sites I'm a part of. They're doing a great job. Uh, Tim over there is doing a fantastic job at just kind of 
making sure that uh, the community is more of a global thing than than just a, a uh, one one fan site type of thing. Um, but uh, right now, GG Unleashed seems to be the central hub for the the community in terms of where all the events are starting to take place, and that kind of trickles off into Reddit and all the other fan sites and whatnot. Uh, the Wikiwikia, whatever, is being updated a lot now by Blitz, which is really cool. Good for him. Thank you very much for that. And um, a lot of other community members are setting up, uh, which is really, really awesome to see. Um, I know Supreme's doing a lot of really good work. Locksmith's doing a lot of good jobs. Uh, Narwhal, who runs the Wedit. Wedit? Narwhal, who runs the Wedit. Silly Wedit. Wedit, but so far, whatever. And, um, but, uh, yeah, guys, that's that's PAX Day 3. And uh, there isn't going to be a PAX Day 4 because uh, Day 4 was just a really cool art stream. They also said they're going to be giving away some uh, some cool art swag that they did on the stream. And uh, th that's going to be really cool. I, I really hope that some of the community members actually win that. That's going to be cool. Um, but that's going to be the recap for day three slash four-ish. And um, more videos to come. My next video is going to be why Gigantic needs to be an eSport and uh, why it will thrive as one. And that will be out within this week. So, woo! God bless. Take care. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning and evening. I said that twice, but that's okay. End card. Bye! Bye!